at that process of the scientific creation myth, and we go back to Tellard de Chardin and the idea that from the Big Bang there was this consciousness, let's say, uh, going through ever more complicated beings, you know, more capable of more consciousness, then there is consciousness in the trees and there is consciousness in the amoeba, but as Fritjof is saying, not the self-consciousness perhaps of the amoeba reflecting about how great it is to be an amoeba, but it doesn't make it any less powerful because what comes with this reflection about I am, uh, as the, in the Indian uh, philosophy you would know, is that it also comes the limitations and the problems of identifying with our thoughts, which after all are only just fluctuations of energy. But the, the lovely thing about this idea of the big trip from the Big Bang to, uh, you know, from Alpha to Omega, is that we would be then in this position of actually reflecting I am, but who I am, what I am. And, you know, and, and if, if you realize that you are really pure consciousness and that your journey through this life is to disengage from the things that don't allow you to really experience who you really are, then we would be about the possibility of consciousness becoming self-conscious of itself just as pure consciousness, which would be what happens in states of meditation, and which is not just one moment, but you could prolong these moments of great awareness of being consciousness through many things, through you know, going for slow walks in the forest and through doing service, because in service we usually don't think so much I am, we just dissolve in the service, from, through being moms, through caring from babies, through teaching gardening to prisoners, to you know, teaching gardening to babies, to children. So I think there is this reflection of who I am, but not just about the thoughts, but about who I am as a, um, I think we are moving fields of awareness. Of it's certainly, certainly these are, you know, ancient venerable ideas. Uh, when you say, you know, the whole universe, it's God's creation. It's the same idea with different language. Whether you say there's pure consciousness manifesting in steps in matter, or whether you say, you know, there's a God who creates matter and who is then immanent in matter. That's, you know, the, to me is the same idea. Uh, what, what I'm saying is that in science there's no evidence for that. But it doesn't mean that, that there's a contradiction. There's also no evidence for that. It's not that way. It's just this is outside of science. This is uh, beyond. 